Winton Wood students go back to school in the morning and in brand new buildings. They still have some finishing landscaping touches to put in. I got a first look inside because students helped with the design and it features some choices that might surprise you. I'm always ready for the first day of school. Winton Woods junior Alana Dedrick sits on the learning stairs, but this isn't where you'll find her this week. I actually sat right there the whole entire year. These booths and some tables are the only things that tell you food is nearby. They call it distributed dining, not one big cafeteria, but several smaller serving areas. That's dead space all day, 75% of the time. You don't use, use it. Superintendent Anthony G. Smith says the new plan saves money and time. So you're watching kids eat, you run out of food, lunch doesn't start on time, nor does it end on time. But it was students like Dedrick who actually pushed the idea. It actually started with a very practical need. They're like, we don't get enough time to eat sometimes. And then there's that first day of school social thing. If you don't sit in the right seat, it's a problem. If you do sit in the right seat, you've already been conditioned. This main kitchen will serve all the locations here at the North Campus. Some students started working here in the spring. Now first through sixth graders will move into an almost identical South Campus. But a lack of cafeteria isn't the only big change. Classrooms are grouped into what they call small learning communities. As a pod or as an SLC, we get to decide who has what class and what space would work best for them for the class size or for whatever they're teaching. So I don't stay in the same room every day. Teachers like alumnus Hannah Van Dyke have cubicles, not rooms. It's built for the district's project based learning curriculum. Some of our kids are now transitioned on to college. And one of the things that they've came, came back to say is this feels like the college that I'm in. And it wasn't just current students helping with the design. I grew up in Forest Park. Jeff Parker with SHP. The Chargers class of 86. There it is. Led the yeah. team. It was personal. And I think it's good for alumni when they come back to see a place that is thriving. Students start in that $37 million South Campus tomorrow. I told you some classes have already been happening in the North Campus. You can read more about the process of designing these new schools and how Winton Woods measures success. It's up right now on WCPO.com and in the WCPO 9 app. Good luck to all those students tomorrow.